Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark. I wanted to come to you in mask tonight, but I can't see if I don't have these things on. But they're very uncomfortable, so I'm going to go to not seeing, which uh, you might see my eyes kind of wobbly. <laughs> they kind of go all wild when I don't have my glasses on, so that's what that's about. Uh, which that means that I can't see you now really very well. You're very blurry, or I'm very blurry because I don't see you. You see me perfectly clear. That's the weird thing about, like, not having vision. Uh, and that is what brings me to you like this because I thought about this. And I want to thank Chris Vegematic about the... The conversation, this is, I really appreciate this, that you get this conversation among us, we, those of us, this is our only venue because out there in the real world, people around us, like the denial is off the charts. And I was thinking about this tonight in relation to the Trump nation, because it is the same denial, I mean... If anybody was paying attention, I put cotton balls in here so it could be cushiony on my face. I mean, this was like a $1 mask from the dollar store, and this is white out, folks. <laughs> but I was, I listened to most of the hearings on the, not all of them, like the Interior Secretary. I haven't gotten to that. It's on C-SPAN. I recommend everybody go to C-SPAN and listen to all these hearings. Holy fuck. It is way worse. These people, it is seriously like this. Let's do this, folks. Anybody who lives in a Republican state ought to be calling their elected officials and saying, fuck no, we won't go. Make Trump at least give us educated neoliberals. They are imposing the neoliberal agenda on us Period. It doesn't fucking matter, guys. Don't you get it? We can either do it dying or living. We can do it in transition or not. Their paradigm doesn't have to be our paradigm, but guess what? They're fucking doing what they want. And to put Rick Perry in, who has a B.A. in animal science, who has a dubious past at best, all of these people have a dubious past. All of them. None of them are squeaky clean. Not one. Even fucking neocon Tom Price. He fucking got caught making fucking money. He did not expect to be nominated for the secretary. This is what tells you how fucked up the system is. That's why I'm here in mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's about love people we need a love nation this whole i guess i'm diverging here from the point of the trump nation fucking with our heads they want us to be unhappy folks happiness is resistance for real we have it's not just like la la everything's great i mean their paradigm is not our paradigm because things are not great they are still ignoring, let's just, even if we could ignore Fukushima, let's just like pretend Fukushima never happened, okay? Let's just pretend we don't have three ongoing nuclear meltdowns pouring over 100,000 tons, 100,000 gallons of radioactive waste into the Pacific Ocean every day, and it's probably 300,000. And that is, considering John Goffman's 90% rule, the fuck, like, all bets are off, right? And it's ongoing. Uh, Weeping Willow, my friend Carol, she got a video today of a fire at Fukushima. It's up on her channel on YouTube, Weeping Willow 2, W-H-E-E-P-I-N-G 2. I mean... <sighs> This is why I love Carol. Like, she is from a different part of this country, but guess what? We're all fucking Americans. We're all Americans. Just like Donald Trump considers himself to be an American, he is appalled. What, did, did you see the face? 
of this guy mentioned today when he was told that the average Social Security recipient gets $1,200 a month. He was like, uh, oh, wow, man, that's my fucking lunch money. What a fucking jerk. Did you see his spoiled rotten daughters in the back? I mean, the guy corrected Congress to say he only made $23 million or $28 million, not $32, by the way. But if we're talking numbers, it's not really, I'm not going to claim to be making $32 million. I'm actually only making $28. Must be hard. That's who they want. The man who caused the housing collapse. And the Democrats? Well, the Democrats will all fight. What we need is a Republican to have some courage. So let's put that energy out. We have a few days before the vote. I refuse to just mm, bite my fingers. I'm going to call the Republican uh, senators on all of these committees and say, please, have a conscience. How can you fucking ignore this? Demand Trump give us an educated person whose fingers are not fucking filthy. I mean, the people, this guy. And I'm not, you know what, with Trump? Did he know? Probably. Is that what they want? Yes. <laughs> Are we going to give it to them? Fuck no. If we had six million people, especially, let's say in a Republican district, if you got a thousand people to call up and say, wait a minute, we don't want these people. Betsy DeVos is Eric Prince's sister. And she also has... No experience with the balance sheet. She's going to take over the student loan division, and she owns a company that collects on student loans. <laughs> hmm, might be a conflict of interest there. Just even if she divested herself, fuck her. What kind of woman is she making profit off of that? So, I, you know, this is why I like the YouTube community because I love Tom Ackerman. I, I love Chris. I, I, and Theo, hippie with a gun. I don't agree with him. I hate it that he calls me people libtards and I wish Theo would stop that because it's completely unnecessary. People aren't libtards. Just they're, they're not like Trump tards. I responded to that in your language for you, but I'm not going to call people Trump tards. They're just people who want to believe, for fuck's sake. Like these people going, Hillary Clinton, she's so good. Are you kidding? You guys are just trying to stop her. Like, <laughs> this is where I want to start cussing and giving them the finger. But you know what? I'm not gonna. Because they're just people. They're just like us, folks. This is how Hitler did take over. This is how the SS got into power. You know, I am looking for the best that we can receive. And I am not looking for any of that negativity. I believe we have a big mountain to climb and uh, we have to keep looking to the top. Eyes to the sky, as Glenn Woodford says. Glenn is my hero. Like, he fucking stands out there all by himself like I fucking do. Just stand out there, talk, you know, with a sign, and just saying no to nuclear. Taking a video, just standing out where he stands in Paducah, Kentucky, for fuck's sake. All the oceans, the animals are dying at extensive rates. There was a story about... Uh, the primates, it said 50% of all primates will be gone within a few short years. All of them. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. Unless we stop, like, unless the whole system stopped and this internet went away and we'd all have to fucking start burning our furniture for fire. Like, wow. But I did want to remind you of this. Right? Love is greater than fear. For real. We need to remind, remember this. Yeah. Because guess what? Like, love is greater than fear. The only thing our planet is meant for is love. We're love machines. We need a love revolution. So we need to just count our blessings and be grateful that we're alive and we found each other. And that we're all willing to talk about this. So... And I'm grateful for my radio show, the Age of Fission radio show, which I'll plug. It's www.ucy.tv. I guess I should put it like a little bubble box in here when I edit this up. I never do that, but perhaps I should. Because it's a great show. We have a lot of great guests. Uh, it's a fun way to listen to the hour, like whoop, 
I we have people that tell us things that we don't hear anywhere else. And we're like the echo chamber of really hello, 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 and nobody fucking listens. But guess what? I'm gonna keep talking and we're gonna keep sharing the information. Because they can't cover up the death. The animals are dying in mass numbers. I mean, what was it, eight or nine whales washed up? in Florida, right above where the Turkey Point was. You know, Turkey Point's right. They put Turkey Point, here's Florida, the point of Turkey, uh, the point of Florida, right, that goes like this. Turkey Point's kind of like here on the Atlantic Ocean. So it's like, what the fuck are you thinking about, you guys? Like, what were they thinking? I mean, it, it'll just go upstream if they have anything. The, even They could have put it inside. I don't know. They can't. Like The whole thing, they should never have put nuclear power plants in our country. And Carl Grossman is right. They need to stop. And tomorrow morning, Carl Grossman, in fact, is going to be on my radio show live. Carl Grossman, who writes for Counterpunch, he wrote a great article recently that says, we need to stop all nuclear right now. Like, we got to stop messing around with this and just stop. It is horrible for the environment. It's extremely expensive. It only promotes war. It's complete destruction. And it forces people to lie and live miserable fucking lives. So, it's got to stop. And this, maybe this is the thing with the Trump nation. Like, the Trump nation has no idea. These people have not been listening to the hearings. They don't know that Mattis, Mad Dog Mattis, was responsible for commuting the sentences of people convicted of war crimes who murdered indiscriminately. They were told, go ahead, kill anybody you want, do whatever you want, rape anyone. These people were egregious. They raped, pillaged, and murdered. And it just became a blood fest, like Mad Dog Mattis. That's why they call him Mad Dog Mattis, because, you know, he's the guy who says it kind of feels good to kill the bad guy. No remorse. This is the person that we're going to have in, at the head of the Homeland Security. Mad Dog Mattis, a military person. We need to call our Congress people and tell them to say no. And if you live in a Republican state, you better call. Because Republicans are the ones who have the power. I live in a Democratic state. These fuckers, they don't have any power. And besides that, they're a bunch of fucking wussies. If it looks like they're, they're nobody, none of the Republicans are going to go, then they'll like, oh, well, maybe I should vote with them because I don't want to sound like I'm not like willing to work with Republicans. Like, fuck you. Yeah, you should draw the fucking line like they do. Say no. No fucking way. We're not playing your fucking game. Except those people are racist. And you know what? They're bullies. And they do back down. The only reason they don't back down is because they're, they're, they're able to push everyone around. Fuck them. I grew up with people like that. I know exactly what to do. And you know what you do? You ignore them. You do your best. You achieve. You look up to the sky. You ask God, give me the vision. Help me figure out what I'm supposed to do. That's what you do. That's what we all do. Every day, wake up and say, God, I don't know. Show me the way. Whatever that means to you. Be driven by that inner discussion between you and whatever it is that puts that fucking light in our hearts. I'm going out to the Eugene Women's March on Saturday. I don't think the Eugene Police Department will be violent with us, but I expect there to be a lot of people, a lot of people, because this is not a march against Trump. It is a march against neoliberalism and fascism, because they want to gut our safety nets. They are gutting them. You know, they had seven years to figure out a plan for the day that they finally took over from Obamacare. They don't have a fucking plan. They have not done their homework, folks. They're
They should have had a plan. They should have had it all laid out. Oh, I have people working on the plan. They have the plan. They have the plan. Oh, they have the plan. But let's vote it out first. If they had had the fucking plan, they would have... You know why they're not voting it out first? You know why they're not doing the fair exchange? Think, folks. Money. Because now we go back to the old rules, and your insurance company gets to like... Whew, think it's bad now. They're going to start getting turned down. And then they're going to have the plan after about maybe eight or nine months. They're going to let these people fucking rake it up. And they don't give a fuck about what the IRS has to do. The tax collection, how all this works. They're going to cut taxes. But you know what? We still have each other and none of that shit matters. What matters is they're killing the fucking oceans. They're killing our waters. Do you know what they're doing with the no dapple? This is so shocking. They're giving uh, Herr President Trump uh, a gift. They have come out in full force and they have missile weapons pointed at the water protectors. All they have to do, the judge said it's a moot point. They're not going to vote with the water protectors and say they really do have a legal right, even though they do, because the pipeline is mostly built, and all they really need to do is just get under the river, and then it'll be done. So it's kind of a moot point, so they're not going to vote in favor of the water protectors. That's how it works. Welcome to the Trump nation. And do you know that Donald Trump asked Canada to please readmit the XL pipeline? And there is actually a whole graph of pipelines that you can look at and find somewhere. Or maybe it's not out. Maybe they retracted it. why I'm out in mask, folks. I'm going to the Women's March in mask, and I'm going to bring some brochures that explain to women how they are most affected and their children are most affected, and how the nuclear industry is using us and how doctors are brainwashed to believe that they are telling the truth. And actually, they believe it. They think it's not that bad. It's very bad. It's bad enough we have to get some x-rays. I've had x-rays. My kids have had x-rays. But to force our children to live in highly radioactive contaminated zones and have the government send billions of dollars, if not trillions of dollars, on the military and creating war and drop more nuclear weapons on innocent people who we have no fucking idea who they are because they, these fucking narcissistic people are paranoid of them. No, actually, they want their money. They want their resources. They want their assets. They want to take, take over. Just like they did the United States. They don't give a fuck whose nations is what. I mean, uh, when I looked at the map, and, I, you know, again, this is the interesting thing about this generation of people, you know. I had no idea how many tri tribes there were in the United States. To be honest, I really had none. I thought there was like one big tribe in the middle and they were all like Sioux or Hopi and that was it. I didn't understand any of it. You don't know what you don't know until you know you don't know it. And, but we're all one, 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 one unit and we are all victims of the nuclear industry. Man, tomorrow, it feels like the axe is going to drop, folks. That's It's not the axe. It's the call to action. Maybe that's what I'll title this video, the call to action. Trump Nation, call to action, huh? I'm going to bring out Peace on Earth to the protest on Saturday. And I hope if Kevin Finnegan or Theo sees this video, or even... Uh, Tim Martin, or anybody else in the area who watches this channel, come out to the Women's March, please. You can find it on Facebook, but it's at noon at the new federal building on 8th. I mean, we must stand for the freedom to speak out publicly, the right to privacy, the right to keep government out of our lives. They don't have a right to spy on us. Those laws were illegal based on a whole set of illegal activity. 
and our government is out of control. And that is why people put in Donald Trump, because they bought his bullshit. They thought he wasn't part of the government. <laughs> they really are so naive. They didn't understand that if he really was, he'd have fucking been knocked off long ago. And we're in the thick of it. It's Trump or, like, which bad pill do you want? Like, they both suck, right? So now we're with the neoliberals. And the neoliberal agenda is about cutting all our safety nets and all the regulations, and they're going to tox us out. And then the pendulum will swing. They might be able to get us through 2018. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? They'll just keep controlling their rigged elections in 2008 more years, and then they'll let some, like, half-dim-witted fucking Democrat, Oh, I'm going to be your leader. I'm going to take back the government. Fuck. It's going to get way worse. The environment is just like collapsing around us. And these fucks think it's like business as usual. They're so god dang stupid. Anyways, I want to thank the YouTube community. You guys are awesome. And I'm grateful for you. I love all of you for real, man. And... I want us to, as Kevin says, man, unite the clans. Man, we need to get the clans united. So, and I mean all of us. We all need to come back into the fold. We all need to come together. Because it's going to take us all to push us past this mountain to saving our great-grandchildren. So, put your courage feet on you guys. Ciao.